the matching earring. It just has all the right stuff. Stainless steel posts, Omega back, black diamond or chocolate diamond are the choices. Now, of course, they're simulated, but they look like black diamonds or chocolate diamonds. So they're very chic. They, I promise you, this does not look like a $20 earring. These look, I live in this earring. You've see me, seen me wear this hundreds of times. So I'm going to take it off and show you a couple things about it. So that's the chocolate diamond. You can see how they're set in their own little channel. They're not chocolate diamonds. That's the, I think we call this the gold, Steve. I think we call this the gold. I think we call it out by the metal color. I wanted you to see the inside. So this is, see how it's all polished on the inside? And then you can see how beautiful all the little sparkle is, all of these gorgeous little hand-faceted beads. And then, then you have your stainless steel post, and then you have your Omega closure. It just reaches up, grabs at your ear. So this is the one that I have on right now. They're so pretty. They sparkle like crazy. They just sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. And they just look so just fabulous. And for a $20 earring, they're light as air. They're really light, and I know a lot of you say that I say all earrings are light even when they're heavy. I will say I probably do have pretty strong earlobes because I like big earrings, but these truly are super duper light. They're not heavy at all. They're very lightweight. And then the black diamond look, that which we call the silver tone, is done all in that beautiful hematite. It's like that black rhodium finish. So it has a little bit, it's just very rich looking, by the way, almost 300 pair gone. I'll find out which color is gonna go first. You can see on Cara, how pretty are these? They have, I don't know if you've seen, what inspired this for me was, I don't know if you've seen all the rough diamond jewelry that's happening in the world of jewelry today. It's one of the biggest trends and they sell strands of black diamonds and chocolate diamonds and they call them rough cut diamonds where they instead of giving it a brilliant facet they'll rondelle them so they're, they'll take the rough diamonds and they facet the edges and then they string them on strings they make them into earrings so that's what inspired this because that's what it looks like looks like to the eye so you see you get that rough cut diamond look see how it's like these beautiful little faceted stones that are just set and these are all individually strung onto a wire and then that's set down into the channel and see this pretty channel and it's all finished in that black rhodium or that hematite finish so it's very just they're beautiful and what's fun about this it really just looks great with everything it looks great with the different colors of gemstones it looks great with all different kinds of metals it's just so pretty so that's what it looks like if you know what i'm talking about if you've seen our strands of herkimer diamonds for example those again rough cut strands that's what this reminds me of except that it's even more sparkly it's just super duper sparkly and that's just due to the fact that they have these gorgeous you know simulated stones that look so authentic and so great today but this you don't ever worry about losing the back you don't worry about it falling out of your ear it will not pinch your ear it will not you know pull on your ear i promise these are really not heavy they are a nice size i'll grab my um ruler and show you they really are an excellent size coming in at a little more than two inches about two and an eighth inches so it's to me it hits that sweet spot it's not too big that it's crazy big and it's not but it's not too small that it gets lost you know if you are a girl who has long hair if you wear your hair pulled back you need good hoops because hoops look so great if you are, you know, just a woman who's looking to update a favorite classic, most of us love hoops. Cara, that looks fabulous. Look at how pretty that looks on her. This is an ageless earring, and so you can see it's not pulling on her ear. They're light, aren't they, Cara? And they really are great. They are not pulling on your ear. The other night I was at a party when I was in the Twin Cities, and I wore not this hoop. I have another pair of hoops. They're big hoops. And honest to goodness, I mean, they looked great when I left the you know, when I left for the party with my husband, but about two hours in, my ears were killing me. I mean, literally, like, they were really, really pulling, and I could, they were bothering me. Like, I ended up having to take my earrings off by the end of the night. This, you will forget you're wearing this earring. I promise. And yet, it looks so pretty. You could be all dressed up with this. And if you are not a tiny person, you know, you really, most women find that if you're not tiny, you shouldn't wear really tiny jewelry because it gets lost on you. Also, they do say that even if you're very tiny, that doesn't mean you should be wearing diminutive jewelry because then it just sort of, you know, small and small. If you think of people like Elizabeth Taylor, the late, great, incredible Elizabeth Taylor, who is, who inspires all of us when it comes to being glamorous, wearing her jewelry. She was tiny. 
She was not very tall. She was very small. She was very small bone, and she loved big, glamorous jewelry. I think about our beautiful Susan Lucci who comes to HSN. She's tiny. She's a little, tiny, beautiful lady. She loves big, glamorous jewelry. So the size of jewelry doesn't really have anything to do with your size, but I would say that most women look better in jewelry that has a little bit more substance, a little bit more statement. If you're going to wear it, why not let it be something that at least will show up and will bring some pretty light up by your face. And with a hoop especially, there really is not an earring more flattering for us girls than a hoop. I mean, a hoop is about as flattering as it gets. You can see it just, it's sleek, it's streamlined. So if you have a fuller face, if you have a square jaw, if you, you know, just want a slenderizing look up by your face, a hoop is always a great way to go. It's everybody's favorite classic. We have both colors one more time. We have it in the silver tone. I think we call it hematite, right? Am I saying this right? I guess we call it silver tone. We really should have called it, you know, you can see it's more of a black rhodium or a black gold color. That's what I would call it. So it's really like a black gold. We call it silver tone. Or this is the gold tone, which really is the color of 18 karat gold. And then what makes this so sensational, and by the way, I forgot to show you, the stones go all the way around. So it's front and back. The stones go all the way around your earring, which is just a nice little touch. Because let's face it, when you have your hair pulled back, you pull your hair behind your ear, you, you know, you had a, a ponytail, there's a very good chance from the side, from the back, people see the full earring. So what's nice about this, you get all that sparkle going all the way around the hoop, all the way around the earring. Another great gift. If you're looking for gifts, a girlfriend's birthday or a sister's birthday, fabulous $20 gift. She'll live in them. She'll love them. She'll wear them. She'll enjoy them. They look chic and she probably doesn't have it. So this looks like chocolate diamonds. This looks like that beautiful black diamond sparkly look and feel. Uh, they're just really a fun, exciting new pair of earrings for your wardrobe. With everybody on the phone, we're down to the final few hundred in the silver tone, aka black rhodium, black gold with the black diamond color or the gold tone that has the chocolate diamond color. So those are the two choices. If you were lucky enough to get the bracelet, I just wanted to show you the bracelet sold out, but we really brought this without being matchy-matchy. It coordinates nicely to your bracelet, as you will see how nicely these sort of look together. Again, they're not super matchy-matchy, but they coordinate nicely. So hold the phone. I'll let you know when they completely sell out. If they do, thank you very much for your calls. All right, now. This is so exciting. This is so exciting, so exciting. Okay, you have to see this. Our new earring box is here. This